cut 14 strings to 80 inch lengths. Start with one string, placing its center point on a cork board or working surface of your choice. Attach six new strings to the center of the first cord by using reverse lark's head knots. After attaching the first cord, I like to pin the project into place just to keep anything from sliding around as I continue adding strings. Next, tie three square knots across the top. Pick up this section and flip it over to the reverse side. Use the remaining seven cords that you had cut to create another identical section and then place that section directly on top of the first. Pin the two sides into place, one on top of the other. Set aside the anchor cords so that they don't get mixed in with the rest of the hanging cords moving forward. From the top section, pick up the two left outermost cords and join them together with the two outermost left cords from the bottom section. You're going to use these four cords all together to create one square knot. And this square knot is going to have around an inch, maybe an inch and a half of space below the first one. Continue tying a row of alternating square knots using the previous square knot as a guide for spacing.
once you've tied a row of alternating square knots in the front, it's time to flip the piece around and continue the row from the back side. And continue tying square knots to complete the second row. For each new row of square knots, you're going to alternate cords and keep the spacing consistent between rows. Continue adding rows, flipping the piece over as needed. Check to see if your project is long enough by placing your water bottle next to it. The water bottle holder needs to be a little bit longer than the bottle itself so that it completely fits around both the top and the bottom. Gently slide the strings on top to open up the top of the water bottle holder. Test the size by placing your water bottle inside and seeing if the water bottle holder will be long enough. Slide the strings back together at the top. This looks to be the perfect length for my water bottle, so I'm going to use a gathering knot at the bottom to secure all of the hanging strings together. Cut a new string to about 20 inches in length and use it to tie a gathering knot across the bottom. Once the gathering knot is tied, cut off the top string and then cut all the remaining strings at the bottom to your desired length. If needed, you can gently tug on the bottom strings from the gathering knot to make sure that they're even. Next, we're going to be making a handle or a strap for the top. So take each side of the anchor strings and cross them over each other so that they overlap at the ends. Cut a new string to a length of about 100 inches long. Hold it at its center point while placing it underneath one end of where the two sides of the anchor cords meet. Next, use it to create a wrapped square knot, tying each knot over the four cords that are inside. Don't worry too much about the placement here because this is all going to be adjustable once we're finished. Continue tying repeating square knots until you have created a chain. The total length for the strap should be around 8 inches long. If you'd like to weave in the loose ends from the strap, you can take a tapestry needle and Place one end of the string inside the tapestry needle at a time, then weave it up under the last couple of knots. Mm -hmm. 
Once you've done this with both sides, you can take your scissors and trim it off. Use the two loose cords on each side to tie an overhand knot, and once you've tied that knot, you can trim off the excess. The strap length can be adjusted by pulling on the loose ends on either side of the handle. Now you have the perfect adjustable water bottle holder and the best part about this is that you can use it for other things, like here I'm using it as a wine sling and you could also use it for storage in your kitchen for items like fruits and vegetables. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for stopping by my channel!